So I'm still with Cal, G-Man and Chevalier here on the couch of Zen TV. Guys, let's talk about the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight. G, let's start with you. Mm, I mean, you know, my good, good friend, one of the guys who co-founded Zen was a boxer. Oh, yeah. And I used to always think boxing is a brutal sport. I still do. Um, because if you think about it, you score points by trying to make the other person unconscious or concussed. Uh, and that does create major, major problems and, and, and stuff. But anyway, put that to one side. This is the next big super fight. Uh, it's between Mayweather, uh, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. And it's, you know, generating major amounts of money. Now, um, I think Mayweather's um, pay for the fight is 180 million US. Yeah. Which is, all? Yeah. Probably well, there you are. Which is about <laughs> 100 and something million pounds. No. This is... You can remember, right? This is um, for one fight, so it kind of shows you the barbaric nature of humans that we want to really see these events and we really want it to happen. Now, I look, and they said it sold out within minutes. Minute. Yeah, you know, I they must have obviously. You but know, the price? Yeah. Well, tell me the prices. Ninety-four thousand pounds. Up to yeah. yeah. Um, you know, clearly that's ringside, you know, and somebody with more money than sense. Um, I'm not saying if I didn't have the money, would I go up? I, I can't lie. If somebody gave me the chance to sit there, I wouldn't necessarily go because I think it's an obscene waste of money for me. I understand what's going on here, but I know that this is an event which is going to be a massive distraction to what really is happening on a global perspective. Amazing two athletes, one is unbeaten, one has been beaten twice. So they're, they're really milking it for to make it what they want to make it. But I still think to myself that Bruce Lee said it in Enter the Dragon. And he's teaching that kid how to do the kick at the start of the film. And he says to the kid, what do you think? And the kid went, let me think. And he slapped him on his head and says, in a nutshell, don't concentrate on the finger. Mm. It's well, you'll miss all the heavenly glory. So I think this event, if the two boxers are going to make and share between them, say three hundred mil, the people who put the event on are clearly wanting money for themselves. So I think it's going to be a huge, 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 huge distraction. Something else is going to take place around about the same sort of time. Because you, you know, Sky, for example, it's 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 saturating its, its sports channel with the build-up to this yeah, fight. Yeah, massively. Mm. I'm not into boxing and no. I haven't noticed it. And, well, are, mm. are, the two, are the two fighters yes. aware of this? Aware of what? Of whatever else is going on beyond the distraction of their fight. If you look at Pacquiao, to me, he's an intelligent man. Not saying Mayweather isn't. Pacquiao is a man that wants to... He's a congressman in America, in... Um, Where's he from? I'm not sure which nation he's from. Isn't he Philippines? Is yes, Philippines. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. So he's a you know he wants to change the the political climate in the country that he's from. He's not just thinking about boxing. Mm -hmm. He wants to use this to do better for his people. Mm -hmm. The people are well behind him. Mm -hmm. He's a you know he's supposed to be a God fearing man, but put that to one side. But he's a man that wants to do something. Mayweather, aka Money, is all about that money he's just you know he's just a greedy uh, person that just shows you know as a role model he's, he's a very he's no role model let's be honest well he's a poor one mm. um if you know if somebody said to me who's going to win in terms of skills right mayweather is a very defense minded person mm. uh, pacquiao is a very attack minded i think he flings 100 punches per round wow. type of thing so you know if it's just about work rate he should win um we will see but the, the reality is it's a massive fight it's one that they want to see happen which makes me realize to myself there's something else gonna kick off i know you've mentioned in the past about symbolism tell yes. me a little bit about the symbolism to do with the, the um well yeah. pacquiao um, you know if you go back in time right you know when you used to watch a film or uh, you know or you see a, a production company you'd see like CBS, their logo 
is the eye, mm. right? The all seeing eye of Horus, right? And I think they're one of the production companies involved in this. Then you look at uh, on, on Pacquiao. He's got this logo that he wears on his t-shirts. It's normally in a red and a blue and yellow, if I'm not mistaken. And it's got like, um, light, uh, you know, arrows pointing off it. Or, you know, and it's an eight pointed thing. It's the next big Illuminati sign. You know, um, it may be pertaining to his country, but it's, it's one of those things that you can see they're gonna manipulate. And remember, you don't have signs and symbolisms just for the sake of having signs and mm -hmm. symbolisms. World religions are about control. They're not in it to, as it were, set people free. Mm. It's to control people. And you'll find this is an event that will be used to control. These, these symbols don't just, are not just there just because they're pretty. They're there to be of influence. And nine times out of ten, if the world is involved, it's negative influence. So I can't see anything good coming out of this. You'll see at the end of the fight... You, you know, it, it, they'll, a lot of people will be surprised by, say, the outcome. I can't imagine it just being on points. Um, I, I think, it, you know, it's looking at more like a knockout. It's a big, big fight. Mm. You know, I remember growing up watching Ali fight George Foreman back in the day. And, you know, even, even then, that was a big kind of um, dark event. Mm. I won't digress and, and talk about that. But you don't get sporting occasions on this magnitude and then just be about the sport. It is not just about the sport. You don't pay two people just because they're sportsmen. It's more than that. Absolutely more. Any other views, gents? I just wanted to add a little thing that it amazes me that, I mean, how many years ago was the Roman Empire? 2000. Right? Mm. So really, the mentality of man hasn't really changed because we're still going to stand there and watch the gladiators fight yeah. each other. Yeah. So... We've got all this technology and advancement, but still the consciousness of man is the exact same. Yeah. It made a very good point because there's a book and they turned it into a film. Uh, it was called Lord of the Flies, mm. right? And what it's about is some public school boys get shipwrecked on a desert island and um, they set up their own rules. So this is the next leadership of the, of, the, of the nation, but they set up their own rules while they're on this island. And the, one of the rules is that whoever has this massive shell called a conch mm. is king so if you have this shell you direct whatever you want now one of it see so but after a period of time you pass it on to somebody else now one of the leaders at the time um he turns around and he says right we're gonna attack the fat boy and you know they attack him and in the end they kill him and then they one of the guys who's part of them says no this is the way we're behaving becoming primeval is wrong so they start to hunt him down. And the only reason why they don't kill him is because they see smoke signals from a passing boat and then they all resort to being kids again. Now, the, what that book was kind of showing you was that no matter how sophisticated we appear to be, no matter what suits we wear or power suits a woman may wear, we are back in, the, in, the, in our minds, the deepest part of our minds, we are still primeval. And when you look at boxing, boxing is one of them sports, it's, it's the... It's the most primeval sport you have on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. Two men stands, you know, in a ring and they punch each other, mainly in the head, mm -hmm. right? With padded gloves, because that way you don't break your knuckles, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Think about the power <laughs> you're going to inflict on the person's head. To understand what sort of power we're talking about, when Ali was fought in, fighting George Foreman back in the day, mm -hmm. Ali's men were walking past Foreman and they saw Foreman powering up on these on the punch bag and every single punch that he hit this punch bag with had the power to break a normal person's spine wow. so you get punched in your stomach by him with these you know with his fists a normal person the spine got broken wow. so this is the power these people inflict right now you're training to hurt somebody you're training to hit somebody here well, there's no muscle can come up here. You can train as much as you want. You never put any muscle around mm. this area. You just learn to take pain. That's what you're learning to do. Boxing is brutal. It's like no other sport out there. If you think about rugby, they try to make it safer you know, in terms of getting people. If you can cost, you can't do nothing for X amount of days. And that's just one blow to the head. Yeah. And in football, same thing. Mm. Boxing round after round after mm. round of vicious beating to the head let's not forget michael watson 
there, there you are. Mm. You know, he, he's you know he's a. But what about the people who don't even survive the twelve uh, mm. the the twelve three minute rounds? Mm. You know, some people have said you know I would go into a ring and I'd fight, say Tyson back in the day. I'd fight him for a million pounds. They're saying this is hundred and eighty mil. But what they don't understand is they'd be dead yeah. because these these people are trained to hit you hard. Mm. And I'm not saying they should make boxing illegal because my best friend used to do it. And I hated every single time my friend fought because I knew he could be dead. Mm. I remember when you know my friend had his last fight and um, he was concussed and we were sitting down eating a Chinese meal and he picked up the plate and he's about to take the plate into the kitchen. I said, no, 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 I'm still eating, I'm cool. So, said, oh, no problem. About 30 seconds later, he comes and picks the plate up again. Concussion, mm. you see? It's just like, you know, it's like you, you, you're not, your brain doesn't really work yeah. normally. Mm. If you get an egg, a normal egg, and you shake it like that, and then you crack it open, it becomes scrambled. It's like your head, or the blows you take to the head. Yeah. If you survive one fight, I mean, then also look at the training involved. You don't just train for 12 rounds and just do 12 rounds. You train every day mm. for, you know, for probably a week or two weeks, head contact, full contact. You imagine, mm. and even if you put a guard on your head, you fall off your motorbike with a crash helmet on, which is a guard. Don't protect your head mm. too tough. Mm. You're gonna have major problems. So I think it's one. It's a it's a sport that everybody loves, even those who don't love it. They all want to watch it, but the side effects are it is brutal. There's a lot of dark forces who are aligned to the sport, and people say who's gonna win? They will win, because it would generate a lot of money. And two, do you, have you seen that film Django Unchained? Anybody yeah. seen it? Yeah. Do you remember the bit when? The, the two kind of Mandinga warriors are fighting in the living room, mm. fighting brutally. Mm. And then he, you know, DiCaprio turns around and says, you know, kind of end this thing. He has to kill the man, mm. right? And, you know, people have hinted that this used to happen back in the past. Is this any different? You know, a, a society is, is deemed um, civilized or uncivilized based on what the things it accepts or allows. And I think to myself, this is very, very barbaric. That's my opinion. Mm. Very barbaric. You may not see anybody get any brain injury during the fight, but down the road, yeah, it may create problems. Long -term effects, you see? Yeah. Mm. Mm. We're going to look at the papers in just a little while. You're watching Zen TV. Mm.